Folks, we are out here on Pensacola Beach today, fighting the wind, fighting the muddy water, trying to catch dinner. Oh, 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 this one just got hit. We're on, we're on, we're on. Yep, fish on. Good morning, folks. Welcome to another video. It's about 5.30 in the morning. This is the calm before the storm right here, okay? In about one hour, the wind is gonna start blowing about 25 to 30 miles an hour. We do have a big front coming through. And so it is spring break down here. I know a lot of you guys are traveling down here and I wanna show you another thing that you can do on your trip down here if you are traveling to our area. I got the truck loaded down, sand spike, sand flea rake, beach cart. We've got all of our surf rods over here because we are headed to the beach when it's a north wind, like it's about to be. And it's gonna be a powerful north wind, like 25 to 30. That beach is gonna be our, one of our only options to fish. And I don't even know if it's gonna be fishable. So we're gonna go out here and see. Beautiful sunrise coming up over Pensacola Bay. We're gonna pull off at a beach spot right up here and do some fishing. Whoo! Man, is it windy out here. Y'all can't tell right now, but it's probably 25, 30 out of the northwest. The fact that it's got a little north in it is gonna maybe lay down the beach enough that we can fish. Check out the beach today. It's kind of like a washing machine out here. And I found the calmest area right here that I could find. And so we're gonna get some baits out. First bait going out right here. I've got some fish bites, a little piece of shrimp. We are gonna use a Sputnik weight today. This is a spider weight, just so our bait will hold. I'm gonna wade out a little ways, just so I can get my bait out a little further because this sandbar goes out a ways. Whew. All right, I think the further I get my bait out, the better today. Oh, there's a pothole. I don't wanna step in that pothole right there. Good gracious. Get it out there. Ugh. All right, that was decent. Let's make sure that Sputnik holds. All right, bait number one, out and ready. Let's get another bait out. Bait number two going out right here. Got this one on my bummy stick, Daiwa Saltus 5000. Just same bait, just some shrimp and fish bites. Try to get it way out there this time. Oh, 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 no, ah, dang it, I just got wet. <sighs> Whoo, goodness. That was a big wave. He got me. Trying to keep from getting soaked, but that didn't happen. All right, we got two rods out. I think that's all I'm going to put out today. I think this is the first time I've ever beach fished and I haven't seen Fred. He's nowhere to be found. Like, where the heck's Fred? He don't, he don't like me anymore. I don't know what the deal is. That one just, oh yeah, I think we're, oh yeah, oh yeah, I think we're on, we're on, we're on, okay. First bite of the day, let's see if he's on there still. There's a fish, come on in here. There's a fish. Uh, oh, this is a decent one too, I believe. I don't know what it is, but he's decent. He's running in pretty quickly. This might be a pompano right here, y'all. This could be first pompano of the year for me. If it's a catfish, I'm going home. Uh, come on, don't get off, don't get off. What are we working with here? What are we working with here? Come on. It's a nice pompano. Yes, sir. There we go. This is the first keeper pompano of 2024 for me. He's not a big one. 
12 inches long in the state of Florida. They got to be 11 to the fork. So we're going to keep the first one because it is a legal fish. We got to get this rod back out there because we just caught our first pompano of the year. And you know, I haven't been pompano fishing much. So this is the first time I've really been serious about coming out to the beach with set rigs. All right, let's get it out there. Oh, that was that is good. That's gonna be perfect right there. So we got two rods back out now, just kind of waiting. Uh, it's a good first, uh, good first fish of the day. Oh, 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 oh! This one just got hit. We're on, we're on, we're on. Yep, fish on. Feels like another pompano. It's a good feeling fish right here. Uh, oh, I thought he came off. <laughs> We're good. Thought he came off. This is this is definitely the right fish right here. Come on. Oh, he came off. Dang. Oh, he hit that sandbar and came off. Mmm. That's up that is upsetting. It's a good fish. Just lost him. Nothing we can do about it. Golly. That is upsetting. Let's get this one back out. That was definitely the fish we were after right there. He just came unbuttoned. Woo! All right. I fell in a hole again. Dang it. Oh, golly. That's nasty. All right. Woo! All right, I got to get out of this hole. My goodness. All right, we're out there. Goodness, man. Oh, I'm on, I think I'm on up there. Am I on? Is my other rod on? It looks like it, or maybe that was just a wave. I can't tell. All right, man, that looks so weird. Looks like we're getting a bite. Look at that. We gotta be getting a bite, but maybe it's just a wave, I don't know. That's so strange. Let's check it. Uh, I don't think we're on. Oh, wait, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are. We are on. This is a catfish. 90% sure it's a catfish. I can just tell the difference between the cats and the pompano and this one's just coming in like dead weight, so. Yep, I see him now. Mr. Kitty. I knew we would catch one of those today in the muddy water. This is a saltwater catfish. Now, a lot of you guys, when I catch these, are like, why don't you like catfish, Brent? We love catfish. Well, I don't dislike freshwater catfish. I dislike the saltwater catfish because they're like slimy and they spine you and they have poison in their fin and they don't taste that good. Here's something to make a note of if you are coming down to this area and looking to surf fish. If you see the conditions are bad, still go. If it's muddy, if it's rough, sometimes you can get on a good pompano bite, a lot, but you will have to wade through the catfish in this mud like I'm doing today. <sighs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. We just got a hit on this one for sure. Yep, 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 yep. That might be another kitty, but it's a hit. Yep, we show what we're on. Ah, I'm per yep, we're on, we're on. I'm pretty sure this is another catfish, but we'll see. It's kind of coming down the beach. It's feeling heavy like a kitty. We are having to weed through the kitties today, y'all. There he is. Nope, bluefish. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I will gladly take a blue. All right, that's cool. 
that is my first bluefish right there of 2024 as well. Hey, he's a little small to keep for cut bait or I'd keep him for cut bait. Got to be a certain length here in the state of Florida. Bluefish is a hundred times better than a catfish in my opinion. So I'll take it. All right, let's get another. We're going to get the bummy stick back out here. Here we go. Oh, look at this guy right here. Holy cow, that's what we're after. Look at what a sand flea there. That's a big mama. Oh, look guys, we're getting, we're getting hit. We're getting hit, we're on, we're on right here. Yep. Yep. Just don't be a kitty, please. He's acting up. Might not be a catfish, but we'll see. Coming in pretty quick. Now he's feeling like dead weight. That's not good. Anytime they feel like dead weight, he might be a kitty. See here in a minute. Nope, that's a pomino. Pompano, come on, nice one. Keeper, nice one, heck yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Check it out y'all, Keeper Pompano, number two of the day. That one's a nicer fish right there. All right. Sweet. We're not getting much of a break out here at all today. Like we are getting lots of action. <laughs> Wade, weeding through the catfish to catch some Pompano and stuff like that so um but i tell you it's fun it's nice to be back out here how y'all doing how's it going man nice shirt i like it hey good oh cool where y'all from okay good deal have y'all been doing any fishing or this morning it's an okay bite so they're starting to get a few pompano um, you can wade through the catfish <laughs> oh yeah there's plenty of those out so <laughs> what not at all man come on awesome what was your name well good luck to y'all today yeah my little nephew's coming out here and so i want to try to get him on a fish my dad's bringing him out here so hey nice ain't it good gracious thank you uh what's up boy you ready to catch a fish? Catch a fish? All right. I'm about to go catch some more sand fleas. Come on. We'll see how many I catch. If you ever see one of these guys on the beach, do not touch it. That is a Portuguese man of war. They'll ruin your day. That one doesn't have its tentacles though. Oop. This is a good spot to set up because right here it's a little deeper and uh, yeah and on to the sides of me it's kind of shallow we got another one on all right start cranking start cranking <laughs> You got to keep up with him or he's going to come off. You know, he's coming in. He's coming in. <laughs> Don't be a catfish. Don't be a catfish. The way he hit it, we got a chance at a pompano right here. And see how he's running down the beach to the left? This might be a pompano. He's a good one. Oh, did he come off? 
If it, you got one on the other one, no, we're tangled. We're tangled. Let me let me see where this fish is. Big pompano. That is a stud right here. I'm telling you. Look what a pomp. Oh, come on. That is a real one right there. <laughs> That's a, oh, hey, are we, did we just get bit on that one? It looked like it. Go come get a picture with your fish now. This has been a no shortage of action out here on the beach this morning. One monster pompano, 18 inches to the fork. That's a good one. We're going to take these fish home right now and cook them up. So it is the next day, folks, and we're going to cook that fish up. It is so much nicer today than it was yesterday. We have hardly any wind at all, beautiful blue skies, but sometimes the fish don't bite as well in this these conditions like this. So, But you know what I want to do today? Let me show you. Last video... I cooked a uh, Spanish mackerel and after I cooked it, I was like, you know what? There is one thing I could have done to this Spanish to put it over the top and it's been bugging me ever since. So I got to get some redemption today. I'm going to cook it very similar to how I cooked the Spanish, except I'm going to show you one thing that I think is going to take this to the next level. And all we're going to do, we are going to cook these pompano whole. And so because we're cooking them whole, we're just gonna gut them. I just like to cut some slits in them like that. Just to, uh, you know, that's gonna uh, get that seasoning down in there and make it amazing. We'll do that to both sides. That's it, that's really all we gotta do right here. And we're going to wash this guy off. We're going to do the same thing to this other one. And we'll be ready to cook. So I'm about to show you guys what has been haunting me all week with this pompano. Okay. And if you, see my, if you saw my last video, you're going to know what I'm talking about. So we're just going to start off. And we're going to salt and pepper this fish on both sides. We're also going to take some Tony's. Tony's is one of my favorite seasonings to put on fish. We're gonna take some Parmesan cheese. And no, this is not the missing ingredient. Because if you watched last video, you know that I put Parmesan cheese on that fish as well. So, and all, the only cheese I like on fish is Parmesan cheese in some occasions. We're gonna take some lemon juice, all right? We're just, I love a little, uh, pom, lemon juice, it goes really well with pompano, as well as butter, but here, is the missing ingredient. When I was eating that Spanish that I cooked just like this, I said, you know what? This would be so good if it had some crunch to it. And that is why I'm adding breadcrumbs to this pompano because I need some crunch. And so I think that these breadcrumbs is gonna take this pompano to the next level. And there is one thing I cannot forget and that is butter bacon fish especially like this be generous with the butter i'm gonna bake these guys for 10 to 15 minutes we're gonna be ready to roll i just know how good that last spanish was cooked like this so i'm like man this pompano is gonna have to be amazing with the breadcrumbs there you have it, folks. A lot of people say they don't like pompano. I ain't one of them. So let's give this a shot. I am thinking that the crunch of these breadcrumbs is gonna set this over the top. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> That's exactly what it needed. The flavors of the Parmesan cheese combined with the seasoning, the lemon juice butter, and breadcrumbs all go together for just a flavor bomb. Like this is so amazing. And pompano itself is just a really good flavorful fish. And this is outstanding right here. This is definitely what it needed.
Folks, if you are enjoying all the content lately, please shoot me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do so. It's free to do so. I post new videos every week from right here along the Florida Gulf Coast and also sell real estate right here along the Florida Gulf Coast. So if you're ever looking to buy or sell a property, all my information is linked in the description below. And if you're down here, check out our outdoor store, Beach Bum Outdoors. We have everything you need for you to go out and enjoy a day on the beach just like I had. So... Other than that, we'll catch you next time.